of this year's entitled, What Was Yitro's Advice to Moshe? Goes in and tells Moshe, listen, the Volti Bowl is going to wear you out. It's going to wear out the people to go ahead all day long. You're judging them. That waiting for hours and hours just isn't working. Moshe says, fine. And they start a whole judicial system where the small cases other people take, and it works its way up to Moshe Veno. Sounds very nice, but what's the new idea? Moshe didn't think about that. So uh, Bob Rennell is a fascinating discussion where he wants to say that Moshe were judging them just now before Sinai. He takes it that this is in chronological order of the Parsha. Yitro came, Sinai did not occur yet. And when he gave the advice, Moshe was only judging on the few laws that he heard directly from God. It was before Sinai. Therefore, Moshe was saying, I'll do this. If it's a longer bar, but no, but he takes that approach. Another approach might be that Moshe didn't hear any new conceptual ideas. He heard a practical idea from Mutli and Yitro. What was that? Moshe, the people, it's too much for them. You're assuming that they won't have the opportunity to be with you, and maybe that would be that way. But here they're forced to wait online for hours to be with you because you're the judge, and they have to deal with their case. So they're stuck. They're cornered. It's one thing where they willingly come to you, but they're not willingly coming to you. They have to come to you. It's not like the Baba Jarebi, the 60s, 70s, 80s. People wanted to wait for hours because they wanted to see him, so they're willing to wait. People wait for Chaim Kenevsky. That's their choice. But over here, the LinkedIn, the, the, they're hooked into it. And if you needed someone like Yitro, who was an authority, Moshe's father-in-law, he could say, Moshe, listen, I have a feel for the people. I have, I know what's going on. And he had the chutzpah Yitro to be able to tell that to Moshe. While others may just figure this would have to do, and that's it. So he did introduce something to Moshe didn't know, and that was the feelings, the pulse of the people. And even the great Moshe, if he didn't have a nevuah about how exactly the people were feeling, couldn't know. But Yitro did have that pulse. He was mingling with the people. And therefore, he said, Moshe, it's too much for the people. And Moshe heard, he said, it's too much. That's it. I'm only doing this because I thought it was going to be a great bonding experience. But if they're not feeling that way, it's not worth it. So it could be that that was Yitro's chiddish introduction, his idea to introduce to Moshe. Shalom.